Welcome to the Prep Zone. My name is Grant Yenny. It's round three of the 4A playoffs. Tonight we're here at Lakeshore High School as Bastrop took the long ride down to play the Titans. Now let's bring in Coach Tiger Edwards for more analysis. Coach, what do we know about these teams coming into this matchup tonight? First off, the number eight ranked Bastrop Rams, nine and two, averaging in 11 of their games, 35 points a game, prolific offense. We know about Lakeshore. Number one in the state, 38 and two over the last three years, trying to get to the Superdome to get that state championship trophy. This could be their year, but before I get there, it's week three. So it's been Thanksgiving week. It's every coach's favorite week. You get to practice at eight or nine o'clock in the day, in the morning. You get a little coffee, donuts, you, a lot of camaraderie with the team and then you get to play on Friday night. But if you worked all this week and you were not off, you do not want to lose tonight. So look for Lakeshore to come out hard and tough and put it on the Bastrop Rams. Yeah, Lakeshore looking to continue the greatest show on turf. Thanks, Tiger. We'll have more analysis from the press box. I spoke with both coaches moments ago. Let's hear what they had to say, and we'll get to the action. Pre-game with Coach Jones. Coach, it's round three of the playoffs. Uh, playing Bastrop, a team from North Louisiana, what do you know about them coming into this one tonight? Well, very athletic. They have a rich history of being successful in the playoffs. Um, you know, they stress you. They got three really good running backs. They got two wide receivers that can go get the ball. You know, so we're going to have our hands full on defense and in a very, very athletic on defense for them. You know, so it's going to be a tough game. What's it going to take to beat them? I think we got to limit the penalties. We had a lot of penalties last week, and we can't afford to do that. We've got to take care of the football. we got to see if we can create a turnover or two. Pre-game with Coach Sherrod. Coach, you had the long trip down to Lakeshore. How's your team feeling uh, before this one tonight? Uh, we're feeling great. Well fed, well rested, and we're ready to play. And uh, you're playing Lakeshore, number one team in the state in 4A. Uh, what's it going to take to beat them tonight? Four quarters. we got to play four quarters. Uh, most of the games we saw, they kind of uh, took hand of early on. We want to play four quarters. And we are underway here in the third round of the 4A state playoffs. That one picked up by Lakeshore after being uh, bobbled on the ground. And Smeraldo brought down, Smeraldo by, brought down by Cameron Jackson. But Lakeshore coming onto the field, that high-powered offense coming onto the field first. Christian Westcott, 117 of 218, 2,083 yards, 25 touchdowns through the air on the ground. Westcott, 158 attempts, 1,162 yards, 32 touchdowns. Potent offense. We're going to see how the speedy Rams are able to deal with it. And it's Westcott on the ground to start it off. He'll rush forward for about four yards on the carry. Check that, make that five yards on the carry. So it'll be second and five for the Titans. Look, simple quarterback um, keep right there. He chose to go right. He had a he had a back going to the left. Looked like there was an opening there. Chose not to go that way. Can't argue with it. Gain of five, second and five. Westcott calling for it. Give goes to Lowry. Lowry left side, and he'll be driven back, but it, he gained about three yards on the carry. Lowry, the senior running back for Lakeshore. Going to bring up third and one. Um, so early running game, trying to establish the run here. Um, third and one. Yeah, Lowry now three yards away from 1,100 yards on the season. Calling for it is Westcott. He'll take it. Bulling forward. That's a first down. And then some as he's still up. And he'll get to about the 45-yard line, but that's a first down for the Titans. He goes right off of right tackle and almost comes through the pile and look for a second like he almost might pull out of that one and bust it. So... First down, three running plays, first down. Looking from the chunk it here. Trips to the bottom of your screen. As Westcott took the time to survey the defense. He has a Lowry as a wing. Westcott calls for it, looks to keep it himself. 
trying to follow the lead block of Lowry, and that time he'll be brought down for a uh, gain of one. Germany Powell on the tackle. Good job by the linebacker. Uh, Going to bring up second down. Pick up of maybe one there. Second down at nine. Uh, I thought they'd break out the passing game uh, on first down. Maybe we'll see it here. The play being signaled in from the sideline from Coach Gilliatt. Give Smeraldo at the top of your screen. Westcott calls for it. The give goes to Lowry. Lowry going to the right, and he'll be driven back by number 39, uh, Olarius Johnson, senior defensive tackle. Third and six now. Now we might see that passing uh, game. I guess talking. they're trying to keep me off kilter here. <laughs> <laughs> and I have obviously Bastrop. <laughs> So Lowry to Westcott's right. Let's try the hard count. Let's see. A flag comes out for oh, we false have, start on oh, the no, uh, no, on uh, Lakeshore. The chances of the that pass is getting closer and closer. And now they're looking at third and eleven. Well, uh, if if I would like to. Hopefully not bring up what happened last oh. week, which was a lot of false starts by Mandeville. Uh, although they came out on the uh, uh, the good end. Came out on top. Uh, well, that, yeah. Well, because the other team out penaltyed them. Yeah, but that. Significant. Alexandria, <laughs> yeah. They, they were really shooting themselves in the foot. Here's that. Westcott dropping back the pass. Slings oh, this one looking for Ziggler. Ziggler holds it in. And that's something that we've seen all season from Lakeshore. They have the speedy Cullen Ziggler take off downfield, and Westcott just launches it to him. Well, part of what made that happen is that Westcott sprinted left, threw back right, and um, the defense was not ready for that. So first and 10 for the Titans from the 25-yard line, the Bastrop 25-yard line. Calling forward is Westcott looking to pass again, and it's screen. a screen to Max Lowry. Lowry looking to bring it upfield and now put his head down, Max trying to get those extra yards, and that'll be a uh, loss of four Number on the play. The Rams. Yeah, they went with the uh, screen pass and um, loss of four on didn't, play. didn't get what they had expected. The Roby and Williams on the stop. Makes it second and 14 for the Titans. Trips to the top of your screen. Quarterback draw at some point is going to be in this series, I believe. <laughs> Westcott calling for it. He'll keep it right side, and he'll be dropped for a loss of one. Running an option that time with, with uh, the possibility of pitching it out there to Lowry, and um, he decided to keep it, got uh, gobbled up. It's going to bring up third and long. Even two right, two left for Lakeshore here on third and 15. You have Ziegler to the top of your screen. Calling for it, Westcott looking to pass. Pressure coming from behind him, slings it away and out of he just things, ditched yeah, that rather than get sacked because he was Maraldo, under five, pressure. Five, so Bastrop has, has forced Lakeshore into a fourth and 15. <laughs> Let's see what Lakeshore decides to do here. I think it's Is a little outside the field goal range here would be, yeah. Be like 48 yards, I believe. Westcott calling for it, fourth and 15. Gets away from one, launches this one long to the end zone. Has a touchdown! As it's held in by B.J. Foster. Once again, everybody looked like, it looked like um, Westcott was gonna be sacked right there. Uh, I, what I did see is a lot of Bastard Rams looking back into the back field hoping that that was going to be a sack and letting um, letting Foster get behind him. 
If Foster was waiting in the end zone wide open, like waving his hand, yes. off hands. Literally. Megan Getty's on to attempt the extra point. Snap is back. Place kick is up, and it is good. So, 7-0-1 to go here in the first quarter, and Lakeshore leads 7-0. So Covington and Thompson back deep to return for Bastrop following the Lakeshore touchdown. It's Zach Dollar on to kick off for the Titans. Dollar, multi-sport athlete here at Lakeshore, also a star on the Lakeshore soccer team, the state runners up from last season. Dollar boots this one away, and that will be a touchback. Dollar's 11th touchback of the season. And now we'll get a look at uh, Bastrop's offense, but before we ship focus there, back to uh, Westcott for a second. How much of a weapon is it where you have a quarterback who, while he's being hit uh, from the side, can keep his eyes downfield to look to make a play? Big, big time. Now big you see time. And then, of course, he's going to run back out on the field and play middle linebacker. And you see him there going off screen. Iron Man football, also Max Lowry and Jake Smeraldo out there defensively. For the Rams. See, uh, the oh, oh, errant snap it looked like, and wow. panicked play as uh, Cartavius Brothers Allen picked it up, Bernard. and uh, Bernard will bring him down. Um, no one was expecting that on the Bastrop side. That was a little premature. That's a little third game jitters. He was still able to gain three. Slung out, and that is, is that a, that, was, that looks to be a backwards. He's gonna call it out of bounds. Yeah, right? that was marked it out of bounds. Yep, backward pass. And it, it hit, uh, hit Jabez Thompson in the hands, and he just kind of gave up on it as it rolled out of bounds. Wow. Wow, you see your screen I'm, shaking. This crowd is electric here today after Thanksgiving. I, I, I gotta say, for a team that's been it scored 35 points in 11 out of 12 games, the, this uh, quarterfinal jitters are, are a little hefty right now. Calling for it is Bastrop looking to pass, slings it out, tipped up, and pass broken up there by Max Lowry. Good def defense right there. And uh, that, <laughs> boom, three and three done. And <laughs> three and out. <laughs> As the punt unit comes on for Bastrop. And this is in the area where uh, Christian Westcott could get a rush on it and make a block for a safety. Anything can happen right now. He's in the back of the end zone, punting unit. There oh, yep, there's the pressure, and, and he got it away. And that'll take a Bastrop roll. Well, it takes a Rams bounce there, all the way up to. And so it'll be Lakeshore ball the at the Bastrop 48-yard line. Very fortuitous bounce there for Bastrop, because that, that ball did not travel very far. But it got a good roll, and um, the Titans are second possession at uh, the Bastrop 48-yard line. Great field position. Absolutely. And as we were saying, with that, the way that snap got back there, that was, you know, they're going to be keen on that the rest of the game. So it'll be trips to the bottom of your screen. Westcott in the gun. Getting a chance to look at the de uh, survey, the Bastrop defense. And we're going to throw a and wide receiver screen right over here to the trip side at some point. Give goes to Lowry. Lowry has a big hole, hits it hard, spins away from one defender, and that'll be very close to a first down for the Titans. Or run it off left tackle, <laughs> left guard, excuse me. Great push there by the offensive line for Lakeshore, Smith, Bernard, Gazzardo, Rich, and Ray. Opening up a hole for Lowry there. Big push there. Give going to Lowry once again, and uh, now Lowry not going down, still bowling forward, but that'll be uh, first down. I got to say that was, to me, that was, uh, he, he, was, he wasn't going any further, you know, blow the whistle. 
Number five on the tackle, Romeo Williams. And number so a fresh set of downs for the Titans. This time trips to the top of your screen. Westcott calls for it. Fakes to give to Lowry. Keeps it himself up the middle. And he'll be brought down by, uh, by Alarion Johnson. And he'll gain about seven on the play. Lakeshore pretty satisfied just running the football right now until they need the pass. And then, you know what? They'll find somebody else. They had success open. with that, too. Yeah. <laughs> Second down, putting Foster in motion. Give going to Lowry up the gut. Good blocking once again, and Lowry hitting the hole hard for another first down. Again, that was an option play right there as they sent um, one of the receivers in motion, and he went back behind Lowry. If Westcott didn't hand the ball to Lowry, he would have kept it coming to the bottom of the screen on an option play with, with the receiver that went in motion being the pitch man. Now Lowry over 1,100 yards rushing on the season. It's first and 10 for the Titans. Calling forward is Westcott this time looking to pass. Westcott. Slings it out there, incomplete. Looking for Jordan. A lot of time right there. No one getting to, to him that time. And uh, kind of looked to be a bit of a miscommunication on the route. Hey, look for the Either that or he floated it a little bit. 50, 50, going around. Make a few dollars tonight. So 50, second and 50. 10 for the Titans. Give to Lowry. Go in the left side, and that'll be for a gain of about three. Or four on the carry. Makes it third down for the Titans. Germany Powell on the tackle. Third linebacker the for Bastrop. We've called his name a couple that times already. You see Zach Bernard, number 44 there, in as like a tight end, as well as Miles Stanchek at the fullback. Semi-heavy girl. Group. Lowry, Lowry with the give, and that will be close to a first down, maybe a yard shy. Makes it fourth and one. Brought down by number 58 on the stop. Carry on. Out comes uh, Ziegler and Perry. As you see, Christian Westcott gets the play from the sideline. And he'll be uh, in the backfield with just a wing there. Stanchek calling for it. Westcott coming left side, bowling through and slung down. But that's a first down for the Titans. At, at first, he stepped up to go to the right and then stayed right behind Stanchek and was able to get the first down. Robbie and Williams on the stop there. But first and goal for Lakeshore. Motion from Perry, fakes the give, takes it up the middle, Westcott to the end zone for his 33rd rushing touchdown of the season. Made that look pretty easy right there. Great blocking up front again uh, by the offensive line. None of what's taking place here is successful without that offensive line. Those, those uh, grunts up front pushing the way. Coming out of the swinging gate, extra point unit on. Gettys. Attempting the extra point. Place kick is up and it is good. So three minutes to go here in the first quarter and Lakeshore leads 14-0. Zach Dollar on to kick off for the Titans following the Westcott score. Dollar will keep this one short. Be returned from the 15-yard line. And run out of bounds is Jabez Thompson. Replay from last week, going east and west and not north and south. 
not going to get you very far. But you'll run a lot. <laughs> you'll get good conditioning in there in the game. Yeah. But uh, now we'll get another look at the Bastrop offense. Sputtered last time out. Very, Had to punt. very sputtered. I don't even know if it sputtered. I don't, it never got going. Um. So first and ten, calling for it. Handoff. Breaks free is uh, Allen. Now Allen will be pushed out of bounds by All Bernard right, right, right. after getting a first down. Good run there. Got to the edge. Looked like someone made initial contact on him, but he, he just kept churning. And what an athletic play there. Zach Bernard, a big defensive lineman, going out there to run him down and push him out of bounds. Well, Cartavius Allen was running hard right there. So first and 10 for Bastrop, motion across. Uh, well, that was, that's, Literally yeah, that flags button. all over the place as uh, everybody moved, but the center uh, kept a uh, hold of the ball. It's never a good thing. I have, uh, I must admit I've done that when I was in my playing days. It's not, not a good feeling when you see your uh, teammates going forward and you're still holding on to it. Well, yeah. <laughs> And that makes it uh, first and 15 for the Rams. First and 15 for the Rams. Zai Scott in the gun. Scott calling for it. Handoff goes to Allen once again. And Allen hard running there, but just runs into a wall and is driven back by uh, Scalia and Simon Willie. You can see his, you can see in that run his legs were churning the whole way. But um, Tight defense wasn't letting him break it off. Defense! Ryan DeGru checking in. Defense! Calling for it. Scott looking to pass now. Is, that is complete and good effort there by uh, Jabez Thompson, who hauled that in and just wouldn't go down, kept trying to go forward. Um, but that will bring up third and seven. That was... Um, a good completion, and Thompson turned to go up, but we're going to have Holden, I got to believe. Yeah, I thought I saw it when uh, on, a, on Zach Bernard. Uh, he was being held pretty good as he was getting pressure through. So that will push him back to the 31-yard line. That's huge. Big loss on the play there. Yeah, it's third and second seven forever. was at least a chance. Yeah. yeah. Let's get loud, Titan fans. This Lakeshore crowd fired up for this third round matchup. Another flag comes out. And that should be a false start on Bastrop as that flag came out immediately. And there it is. And lucky for Bastrop because that was that was a pick and maybe six. Yeah, that was airmail right to Lakeshore. Yeah. It was almost as if Ziegler was the intended receiver. Yeah. So second and very long. Second and about 35. Calling for it. Scott looking to pass his pressure bears down. Ball's knocked loose. Scooped up by Wabacher and Wabacher takes it to the end zone. Great defense there. Forced the fumble. Are they are they calling it a touchdown? Or are they are they going to say he was down? What, what you see Lakeshore signaling touchdown, but they are having a conference here. Are they going to say his arm is going forward? They're uh, having a discussion about that, right? I don't think that. I don't, I don't, First down. They're calling him down. Oh, okay. So no scoop and score, but still a recovery by Wabacher. Yeah, good, def good obviously great defense. Uh, uh, I knew when there weren't 
arms up and hands up and, and anything like that in the old touchdown position. Something was going on there. First and 10 for Lakeshore. Westcott calls for it. Westcott and uh, Foster. Foster running BJ into a, a wall and brought Brown down for the Rams. by Terry and Morgan. So that'll make it no second and 10, second 10 for the Titans. Titans. Pretty sure the Titans are not going to do anything but what they've been doing. <laughs> Westcott keeper this time, huh? Yep, Westcott, Westcott keeps it. Westcott has a good hole hitting it hard and he's upended and brought down, but that's after a five-yard gain. Westcott after gain of five, brought down by Germany Powell and five. So Bobby it'll be Williams. third and five for the Titans. And now uh, looks to be extra heavy package coming in. So ain't, ain't broke, don't fix it. Bernard and Giovanni Ziegler in. The only... Uh, well, they have Smeraldo out and uh, Jordan to the left. Now motioning Foster out. This will be Westcott right side. And pushing forward. Let's see. It looks like he'll be maybe a yard shy. Gains four on the play. A yard That's shy of the four, first down. So it'll be fourth and motion one for the back. Titans. Motion to back out there to try to get the linebacker to and vacate that area quarter. and Titans ran it there. Ran so zero. at the end of one, Lakeshore leads 14-0. Top of the second quarter here. Westcott in the gun, alone in the backfield. Motioning Perry across. He'll keep it up the middle and look at that, stretching out the ball as he's brought down by Germany Powell. First down. But a first down Titans. for the Titans. Once again, hard running from Christian Westcott. Nothing's be, changing. Yeah, in the back. Ahead. Oh, get him to yeah, jump there they, they got it. Get him to jump off. Oh, it looked like frustration from uh, Westcott. This might be a false start. Uh, False start yeah. called on Lakeshore. Yeah. It might have been where they were trying to actually draw them offside. Sometimes when we'd have the freeze on and somebody would jump, our coaches, as we'd come to the sideline, would say, what play were you running? Oh, that guy moved. Snap is, uh, that guy there's moved the, the, the late on ball. That, yes. The left Bye. guard leaned forward in a moving position. That was obviously, but, but not that this that I, I, this is two penalties in a row, and three of these types of pen, penalties already. But I don't think this is grounding them. No, no. Although it was what uh, Coach Jones ta talked about in pregame was he wanted to limit the penalties in this game because uh, they had a, a good bit of them last week at Leesville. Well, this is not good. In that, in that back, regard, yeah. In the, yeah. So first down and goal. Westcott looking to pass. Pressure coming down. Evades it. Slings it out incomplete. That was. It looked to be intended for uh, Ziegler. A lot of people co covered out there, so I think he just had to throw it away. It appeared to me that Markel, Markel Peoples was bearing down on him and didn't kind of break down to, to get to him. And uh, Westcott juked him and got outside. Uh, then decided, I think he decided just to throw it away. <coughs> Excuse me. Trips to the left for Lakeshore. Lowry to the left of Westcott here on... Uh, Second and goal from the 16. Westcott calling for it. Looking downfield, rolling right. Pressure coming down, slings it out, and that is complete to Max Lowry. That'll get him up to the seven-yard line. Lowry across the middle, and um, 
Westcott put it where only he would catch it. Westcott was pressured by number 39. So third and goal from the seven yard line for the Titans. Where's my quarterback draw? Yeah. <laughs> the heavy package in. And let's see, it looks like it'll be I'm gonna have a, a time short timeout. Timeout for the time. Timeout on the field. 10.29 to go here in the first half, and Lakeshore leads 14-0. Third down. Westcott calling for it, keeps it left side, and he's brought down at about the five yard line. Gonna bring up fourth and goal at the five. Kathan Covington coming in, the sophomore defensive back, coming in to make the stop there, and it'll be Megan Getty's on to attempt her first field goal of the season. This is Lakeshore's first field goal attempt on the season. Haven't had to do that very often at all. <laughs> Gettys 67 of 72 on extra points. Snap is back, place, kick is up, and it is good. Megan Gettys, her first field goal, and Lakeshore's first field goal of the season. 9.47 to go here in the first half, and Lakeshore leads 17-0. Dollar on the kickoff. Following the Megan Gettys field goal, Dollar booting this one. It'll be returned by Bastrop from the 10-yard line. Looking. And once again, east-west. And not north and south. So Bastrop will start their drive from the 22-yard line. And uh, nothing doing thus far. No. Staunch Titan defense has been able whenever Bastrop has not been uh, kind of shooting themselves in the foot with bad snaps, etc. cetera. Uh, take over first and 10 from their own false line starts. The line. They've only had one first down, I think. Scott there you go, Ooh, calling for it and Christian Westcott Christian buries it. Allen in the backfield. Wow. And that'll be a loss of five. Nice play there. So that'll make it Come second. off the edge. Break down on the... Um, on the running back and put him away. Second and 15. I don't know who was supposed to block him, but they did not block That's him. not a person you want to you wanna whiff on. No. Scott, pressure coming. Slings this one out a prayer and it's nearly picked off by Cullen Ziegler. Now that'll be third Good rush down. right there. Forced um, forced the quarterback to just kind of wing it down there. Scott to just wing it down there, and um, it was ill-advised throw, and luckily did not um, result in a. Interception for Bastrop. And yeah, they live to play another down here on third down. As Scott sets up in the gun, Allen to his right. Scott calling for it, looking to pass as pressure comes once again, slings this that one deep, back. and that one's picked off. Max Lowry going the other way. 30, 20, 15, spinning away from one, and he'll be brought down around the 10 yard line. Big play there by the senior. Scott obviously flustered by the uh, great pressure put on him by the Titan front uh, defensive line, and uh, he's he's just throwing balls up there now. He earlier he threw up one that was picked off, but it was a false start, so it didn't count. And now the play before this, he did the same thing. Um, maybe he's had results during the year Ran where the receivers have come back and made plays on it, but that's not the, the way that you want to be delivering the ball. You're, you're either throwing it away or you're, you're taking the sack, one of the two. You preferably want to throw it away, but not to the other team. And we will step away for the injury timeout.
first and 15 for the Titans. Westcott calling for it. Give goes to Lowry, right side. Lowry running hard, and he'll be brought down at about the 10-yard line by number 24, Kathan Covington. Brought down by number 29, Kenan. So that'll be second down. Give goes to Lowry once again as he barrels forward, and he's number brought one, down by Germany Powell. After a gain of two. And we will step away for an injury timeout. After the injury timeout, third down for the Titans. Christian Westcott in the gun calling for it. Give goes to Lowry, has a big hole, hits it hard. And Lowry will be brought down at about the one yard line. But that's a first down for the Titans. And a late flag comes out. That flag came out yeah, well Jackson after the play was over. Let's see what the call is from the white hat. But that one came out uh, real late. And they wave it off. Nope. So a first down no for the Titans that. from the one yard line. Good hard running there from the senior Lowry. From the one yard line, first and goal. Looked like he was going to get in, and uh, at the last minute, William showed up to make the tackle. Westcott going hard count. Bastrop holds discipline. Calling for it. Westcott give to Lowry. Rushing forward, it looked like he broke. No, they're gonna say he stopped at the one. He kinda angled off to the right there. And... So that'll make it. Denham oh, Hill came out of, the out, of out of that pack Contrary with the ball, but four, his forward Daniel. progress had been stopped. And a whistle had been blown. Play a second goal from the half Second and goal from the one. Titans threatening here. And let's see what Seven minutes left to go in the half. set they come out in. It looks like they have a Lowry and Stancheck to the left side as wings. Calling forward is Westcott. Taking it up the middle. Bouncing it out to the right. And Westcott for his 34th touchdown on the ground of the season. It goes to the left and gets bottled up into the line. And then just says, oh, let me go over here to the right. And gets it in. Swinging gate, extra point unit on. And there's the shift as Gettys will attempt the extra point from the Sam Willie hold and Bernard will get it started. Snap is back, place kick is up and it is good. So with 6.48 remaining here in the first half, Lakeshore leads 24-0. Dollar on to kick this one away. Yeah, Take a bounce and it'll be returned by Bastrop from the 15 yard line. It's uh, Jabez Thompson. Thompson will be brought down at about the 34 yard line. That's where Bastrop's offense Thompson will set up shop looking line. to get something going. Number 12 for the Titans. Kempton. Alexander. Kempton Hollingshead on the stop there, the 5'10 quarterback for the Titans mixing it up on special teams. Well, so so far this evening, here in the first half, it has been as expected, Black Friday. Yes. The, the Titans in their all black have dominated uh, Bastrop. The, one of the problems of the seeding, here comes a pass. That one was tipped. Yeah, tipped. And almost and picked off. Looked like uh, brought in by Richard Lynch. Yeah. Um, one of the Pass problems the is Bastrop's up North Louisiana. We don't see him. No, they don't see uh, they don't see Lakeshore, and the only thing they've got is on tape. And a lot of times, 
while tape is good and video and you get to look at it and you can diagram the plays and everything, doesn't really show you um, how good they the are. The full product. The full product. Yeah. Like how hard are they? You know, who they play in, if you knew who they were playing, maybe you'd be able to make a judgment. But because they're playing a team up north, you don't know. So you don't know how good they are. Like, it looks like they're block real good or defend real good or throw the ball real good. But who are they playing? And you don't know. Likewise for them looking at Lakeshore. Yes. Here's Scott calling for it. Looking to pass, pressure bearing down from Westcott. Launches this one, that falls incomplete. Intended for Jabez Thompson and a flag comes out. And it looks like it's gonna be on the Titans judging by the reaction. Hard to tell right there. He may have been, may have had a hand on him. He was coming back or it was against, it's against uh, Bastrop, the way the ball's coming back. Oh, it was pass interference on. Interference against the Titans. That'll be automatic first down for the Rams. And that'll be. So a first down as the penalty is assessed. It'll be Rams ball at the 46-yard line. It might have been that 50, on his 50, way back 50, 50 folks, to try to catch the ball that there was some hand on or collision 50, 50. or. Scott calling for it. Give. Coming uh, near side on the jet sweep. That's uh, Jabez Thompson, and he'll be brought down by oh, Zach, Bernard. By Zach Bernard. Nice job by number Bernard, also a multi-sport athlete for the Lakeshore Titans, a stellar shot put and discus thrower, qualifying for state, I believe, every year that he's been here. Look, it's, it's, I got to say this. It's great when kids play more than one sport. That makes them the ones that are... That we're hearing more and more about the guys that make it to the pros, you know. Their pass they're, complete, and that'll be about two yards shy of the first down. That'll be, they're more than likely to be the ones to make it to the pros. Not saying all these guys are, but in general, it makes them well-rounded, you know. Why wouldn't you? Yeah, I remember seeing Aaron, uh, Aaron Judge, play, who plays for the Yankees, and they threw up his high school stats, and he was all-state in football, basketball, and baseball. Right. If you, let me tell you something. If if it's all you do is baseball year round or soccer year round, you're gonna burn. There's gonna be some burnout. Absolutely. We see that quite often, because uh, especially when you start from uh, three years old and more on that after this hits the hole hard and still on his feet like a wrecking ball. Robion Williams on the carry and that'll be a first down for Bastrop. Only but their second first down. Yes. 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 Um, but some of these kids start playing these year-round sports at three, four, five years old. By the time they get to their senior year of high school, they're 13, 15-year veterans of the sport. Right, and kind of burned out, oh, some of them. And you don't pick up what you pick up when you play other sports. Different types of agility, strength. As well as different as the smothered there by Westcott and uh, Ducree. You have to mentally be able to play a sport, right? So if I'm working on something over here in football, I gotta, I gotta, my technique, I gotta step with the right foot and I gotta reach and I've gotta do all that stuff. You could be out on the soccer field and have to get around a guy where you could use that agility. Or think defensive backs and linebackers who go play basketball. They're able to pick off passes like no other. Absolutely. Second and 14, Scott calling for it, looking to pass his pressure, bears down. Has a hold, Ducree has a hold of his jersey and he's buried by Wabacher and Ducree. And it looks like the ball came loose and Wabacher came up with it. He might have taken it right out of his hand, but wait a minute, they're going to talk about it, make sure. Thought he was, if, it's, he's if say it stands, it. that'll be two for Wabacher. No, he's going to say he's down. He's going to say he, yes, was, he down. was down. Yep. Back where he was. But still, that'll make it a long ways to go for Bastrop. Here on third down, third and third and 20. Or third and about 17. And 
Bastrop takes a timeout. So with 3.21 to go here in the first half, Lakeshore leads 24-0. Third and 18 for Bastrop. They're going trips to the bottom of your screen here. And Scott Malone in the backfield calling for it. Looking to pass as Scalia comes, launches this one long, and it is picked off. Picked off by Colby Ziegler. And Colby Ziegler still on his feet rushing forward. And he'll be run down at about the 50-yard line by Jabez Thompson. There's also a flag down on the field, but a great job reading that one and picking it off by the freshman, Colby Ziegler. Okay, to start the play, Scott Scalia just went right by the right offensive tackle and put Scott under pressure which got him to scramble a little bit to his left and throw the ball down the field. Again, like I mentioned earlier, he's just throwing it up there. But Ziegler intercepts the pass and runs it back. Who made the tackle? What was the guy's name? Do you know who made the tackle? Was he number? Uh, uh, number uh, Jabez Thompson. Jabez Thompson. What you or I may not, or what I saw and maybe you didn't see, Ran him down from behind. Yes. He got a good head of steam and never gave him up. Obviously, there was a penalty. First down for Lakeshore. Yeah, but still Lakeshore ball. So first and 10 from the 15-yard uh, line for the Titans. <laughs> Trips to the uh, left for the Titans. Westcott calling for it. Fakes the screen on the pump fake, pump fakes again. Looking to pass, telling Ziegler to go. He floats it up for Ziegler. Ziegler, read it, hails it in, bouncing off the defender. Ziegler, 30, 20, 10, 5, touchdown. Cullen Ziegler, the patience there to wait for it and haul it in. Well, the deal was that ball was underthrown perfectly. The defensive back was, was about two yards further up the field. Ziegler did not get by him, but came back, got the ball, and they made a great cut. But I see the ball being walked back in the other direction. So it looks so like that penalty was on the Titans. And we're going to step away. As, going as on. they discuss, we're going to step away for an injury timeout. So defensive holding was the call, and the touchdown will stand. Great job there once again by Cullen Ziegler. Taking that one to the house and uh, we're still waiting for the injured Bastrop player to walk off the field before they start the play here. But extra point unit for Lakeshore is on. Shift coming so Megan Geddes will attempt another extra point for the Titans. Snap is back, place kick is up, and it is good. So, 2.49 to go here in the first half, and Lakeshore leads 31-0. Zach Dollar to kick this one away for the Titans. Puts a charge into that one, and this will be returned by uh, Franklin Hyde. Hyde looking to bring it up, gets off one, and he'll be brought down at about the 21-yard line. So Bastrop trailing 31-0 with 2.41 to go here in the first half. Still looking to get something going offensively. Not, um, it's not been the Rams' night, that's for sure. I don't know that they have an answer. So Bastrop offense led by Zy Scott coming out onto the field. And it'll be first and 10 from the 20, 23 yard line. And L Lakeshore takes a timeout. Time out on field. So 241 to go here before half. Lakeshore leads 31-0. <laughs> Coming out of the timeout, Bastrop first and ten. 
Scott calling for it, looking to pass, slings it out on the screen, and he'll be brought down after about a six-yard gain. And what an athletic play there by Zach Bernard to turn and run and run down uh, the player receiving the screen. Second down for the Rams. Positive yardage for the Rams. They uh, haven't had a lot of plays with positive yardage, and yet Zach Bernard runs down the play on the jailbreak screen. Second and four. Scott slings this one out, and that one's short, intended out there for uh, Jabez Thompson. <clears throat> so that'll make it third and four. Westcott disrupted that play. It was taking two guys to block him, and he was pushing them both back towards the quarterback. And Scott basically, again, threw it away. So third and four for the Rams. As Zai Scott calls for it, give going to Allen. Right side, and it looks like Allen got the first down. Yep, that'll be a fresh set of downs for the Rams. It'll stop the clock momentarily with a minute 58 to go here before half. First down, number three for the Rams. Yes. Cheerleaders is here at Lakeshore cheering for a turnover here before half. Calling for to Scott. Give going to Allen. Uh, check that going to Lynch. Lynch breaking a few tackles and getting across the 40-yard line. A late flag coming out after the eight-yard gain by Lynch. Lynch just really was taking it east and west and finally turned it up and kept going. He was hauling and uh, built a little speed and got some positive yardage, but we do have a penalty. And we have a player down. We'll step away for the injury timeout. First and 10 following the injury timeout. First and 10 for Bastrop. Two to the right, two to the left. Scott calling for it, looking to pass, slings it out, oh, and incomplete, uh, well overthrown for uh, Franklin Hyde. Too much on it there. He's He's been rushed, and he was rushed a little bit right there, and he's just going to turn it loose real quick. That makes it second and 10, a minute 13 to go here before half. Bastra desperately want, wants to have something happen, but the Titan defense is having none of that. Scott slings this one out. That's complete hauled in. Great catch. Jabez Thompson for a first down for Bastrop. Now move the chains as Bastrop's down Call by number eight. to the 36-yard line. Clock will be starting now, 106 to go. But I'm pretty sure the Rams fans were doing well, that's more like it. But can they do, can they sustain that? Scott, once again, oh, that's batted. Tipped up and unable to be hauled in there. I, I believe that was uh, Simon Willie who bat, who got the hand on that one. They got it, that time they uh, blitzed the linebacker. At five on five, and the offensive line for Bastrop did pretty well, all Second things considered. Incomplete pass, however. Makes it second and 10 for the Rams. Two right, two left. Scott calling for it as pressure comes. And picked off, Jake Smaraldo hauls it in. And Smaraldo will be brought down over there on the far sideline. But another turnover by this Lakeshore defense. Defense has been outstanding. Again, Scott put a little bit too much on it. Nowhere near his – I got to say that I really think that because he's been under pressure, he had time that time, but he still felt the pressure and decided to uh, throw that one, and he overthrew his intended receiver. And uh, right time, right place for the Titan defense again tonight. So 41 seconds to go here for Lakeshore. They're going uh, trips to the bottom of your screen. Mm -hmm. 
Westcott calling for it. It's a screen out to Cullen Ziegler. Ziegler looking to follow the block of Smaraldo, and he'll be brought down at the 47-yard uh, line. And that's a another first another point. first down for the Titans. Defensive backs way off those trips, guys. That's why I kind of pointed on the screen, which nobody at home saw. It. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I was saying. We need a telestrator. Yeah, we do. And this is screen to Foster. Foster. And Foster will be brought down uh, for no gain. And let's see, it looks like uh, Lakeshore will take a timeout. Yeah, Lakeshore takes a timeout. 24 seconds to go here before half. Lakeshore leads 31-0. So second down. Westcott looking to pass, West launches this one, and Smaraldo in quadruple coverage hauls it in. Everybody was looking at Smaraldo and nobody was looking at the ball. And Smaraldo brought it in, first down at the 25. First and 10, and you see very quickly as Lakeshore back at the line, clock running, Westcott calling for it. Gets away from one, looking downfield, oh launches God. this one, and hauled in! Did he get the foot down? Yes! Touchdown, B.J. Foster! Right place, right time, right on the money by Westcott. And that's what we were talking about earlier, his ability to, as pressure's coming, keep his eyes downfield, looking for that open receiver. Found Foster on the strike. And a great grab there by Foster, great job. Get feet the feet down, down inbounds. Perfect, perfect. Getty's on to attempt the extra point once again. Snap is back, place, kick is up, and it is good. So with six seconds remaining here before half, Lakeshore leads 38-0. Dollar to kick this one away for the Titans. This will be returned by a Hyde. Hyde hauls it in, has a head full of steam, and makes a cut up field, and flags start coming out as the uh, buzzer sounds. Let's see what the call is. Uh, the call is it's the end of the half or something. Yeah. Well, players as they walk toward blocking below the waist. Yeah, block below the waist on Bastrop. So they're going to decline, and we're going to go to halftime. Half so the at the half, Lakeshore leads 38 0.
Number 36, Zach. So kicking off the second half, Lakeshore is leading 38 to zero. And Zach Dollar will kick this one away. Boots it back will be uh, returned by, the Rams. by Tennant. Tennant makes a move, cutting up field, still dancing around. There's a flag down as he's brought down at the 30 yard line by uh, Rhett Kimball. Well, we ended the first half with a flag, and we're starting the second half with a flag. Um, not exactly how you want to start, you know, end and start. Flags. Decent return there. Yeah, good the moves. Runner. Yeah. And he was heading my favorite. They're wiping it off. He's heading in my favorite direction, north and south. Pick up the flag yeah, and no, uh, no criticism for that. For None whatsoever. But uh, plenty of criticism for the lack of, of ability to start for Bastrop's offense. Oh, man. As they're uh, trailing 38-0, desperately looking to get something going offensively. They started with, all you have to know is they started with a bad snap. Yeah, the very first play of the game. Scott slinging this one out. That's complete, and he'll be, ooh, that could have been, call. no, no call. Uh, but brought down there by Zach Bernard. Uh, Wabacher's hand got very close to that face mask without grabbing a hold of it. Luckily, Thompson with a good move after the catch. And that'll make it second and one for Bastrop, uh, looking to get a first down, which would, I believe, be number four on the game. That would be exactly correct. Motion from Thompson. Give to Thompson, dancing around, looking to bring it upfield, and he will be tackled for the first down. That was looking like it was going nowhere, and he made something out of nothing right there. Yeah, good play there from uh, Jabez Thompson. Scalia on the stop as it's first and ten uh, once again for Bastrop. Four first downs in the game so far. So now and Zy no points. Nope, zero. Scott calling for it. Handoff goes to Williams. Williams going right side following the uh, pulling tackle. And that'll be a gain of five. So it'll be second and two. Hard running, hard running by Williams right there. But So it's going to be, yeah, pick up a five, second down and five. Bastrop will be moving uh, the ball quite well here to start the second half, but let's see if they can complete the drive. They've had situations where this occurred uh, in the first half. It was the inability to complete the drive. Correct. And Scott calls for it, handoff straight ahead uh, to uh, Williams. And then Williams will be stopped after about a one-yard gain. Second down and four, down just straight ahead. Wallbacker Wall with a great hit right there. And it's third dropped him. down, Titans fans. That makes it a third and four for a long three for the Rams. Lakeshore's defense looking to hold strong, calling for it. Scott looking to pass, slings this one long, and it's in and out of the hands of Samaj Tennant. It falls incomplete. For a moment there, it looked like he had it, but he didn't. And that'll bring up fourth down for the Rams. And uh, let's see if we see, you're down 38-0. You think they go for it here? Um, well, it's looking like the punt unit coming out. Um, I, no, I think unless they fake punt it. DJ Foster back deep for so the let's Which see. I would not do at this point. Here. Let's see if uh, Lakeshore brings the house. That's snap, end over end. Uh, back, punt is away, and a fair catch from B.J. Foster. B.J. Foster. Hey, I want to make sure we thank all our meal sponsors this year. Bosco's Italian Cafe, Mike Sirius, Boboys. Uh, Bastrop had 10 men on the field. Celebration Church, Triple Nickel. Leonardo so last week it was Alexandria Pizzeria. having 12. Seafood, several Boston times. Several times. Seafood, this week, Bastrop company, going man Boston. down. So did the guy from Bastrop yeah, go to, to Alexandria? No, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> probably not. Probably not. <laughs> so here's Westcott on the give goes to Lowry up the middle, and he'll be slammed back. 
by uh, number 42, Cameron Jackson. But uh, they say he was down before the ball came out and a gain of two. That'll be a second and eight for the Titans. The Titans offense has been very efficient. Uh, how about unstoppable? Yes. Okay. Yes. You know, we, we called it the greatest show on turf for a reason before the game. Two to the right, two to the left. Give Lowry goes to Lowry Lowry. once again. Lowry, great Lowry. job fighting for the yards. In a very patient runner as he sees lanes right. open up. He'll hit them. And uh, first down for the Titans. Yeah. They had a pulling guard or center that filled into that hole. He st stayed right behind him, found it, and it took three to, pull, to, to get him down with a fourth laying underneath him. Yeah, hard running from the senior. The give goes to Lowry once again, and he'll be uh, stopped behind the line there by uh, number 38, Smith. Asante Smith. So that'll make it a no gain, second and 10 for the Titans. You're going trips to the top of your screen. Lowry to the left of Westcott. And uh, Westcott surveying the defense, now awaiting the play from the sideline. Westcott calling for it, fakes the give to Lowry there, out to Foster. Foster with a lane to run. He'll have the first down before being brought down out of bounds by Radarius Morris. Wide receiver screen right there, great blocking, found the seam, ran up, got a first down. First and 10 from the 48-yard line, the Bastrop 48-yard line. Lakeshore up 38-0 with 8.07 on the clock. Calling forward is Westcott. Looking to pass. Dumps it off to Lowry. Lowry will, wow, hard running from Lowry. Spinning around, breaking free. So it was going to be about a four-yard gain. Instead, it turns into a six-yard gain. Great job of keeping his feet moving, churning for the extra yards. But that's what we expect from Lowry. Yeah, Lowry, a 110% effort player. It's second and four, or long four, for the Titans. Trips to the bottom of your screen. Westcott gives once again to Lowry, hitting the hole hard. Still pushing forward, but that's a first down for the Titans. It's been a heavy dose of Max Lowry this drive. And that offensive line is just coming off the ball and powering them. Smith, Bernard, Gazzardo, Rich, and Ray, the big guys up front. Doing an awesome job just really coming off the ball. First and 10, Westcott calling for it. Looking to pass, rolling to his left, launches it, complete to Foster. Foster still on his feet, and Foster to the end zone. Crossing route, Westcott gets out around the end, sets his feet, finds Foster coming, he cuts it up. It's very reminiscent of LSU football these days. Yes. And you know, it's. Funny you say that, you know, Joe Burrow number one in the Heisman race. Christian Westcott has got to be number one in the uh, Mr. Football, Louisiana Mr. Football race. He's got to be in there for sure. He's, he's definitely. Snap is back, place, kick is up, and it is no good. The snap was a little high there. And it was, it was kind of, Holder had to rush it to get it down and boom. It threw off the cadence. Right. So, but when you're up, yeah. you know, what's that score again? 7-16 to go here in the third quarter, and Lakeshore leads 44-0. to zero. Megan Geddes kicking off for the Titans. Ten kickoffs this season, one touchback, averages getting it to the 14-yard line. This one will take a bounce and will be returned by a hide, and hide will be 
dropped as flags come down. Kimball will get credit for the tackle. Let's see what the flags are. A face mask. So face mask called on the Titans uh, will give Bastrop a little extra yardage to start this next drive, but still trailing 44-0, needing to get something going offensively. And a flag comes out. It's on Bastrop. That'll back him up. Make it first and 15. Scott calling for it to give goes to Williams. And Williams hard running there, churning. My goodness. What a run there by uh, Robbie and Williams. Did a wrestling match break out there or a rugby scrum? It was some defenders were trying to pull that bull ball loose. And I'm going to say... Um, Williams is a bull because he kept going and and he was not turning that ball loose. Then move. That was the hardest one yard run I've ever seen. Moving the the pile. Oh, and there they catch him. Uh, good use of the hard count. Wow. I Bastrop. Bastrop gets um, Lakeshore at their own game. That's usually they're yeah they're good at that. It, they got a. Second down as Bastrop calls for it. Scott tipped up, tipped up, and picked off by Willie. The tip drill there. Another turnover by Bastrop. And uh, the defense has been solid all night. Combine that with a pretty uh, unstoppable offense, and you've got a 44 to nothing lead. I wanted to say 90, but that was, that was a little bit too much. <laughs> hey, you know, seems never, that ne way when it, never let when the it, truth get in the way of a good story. Well, <laughs> it just <laughs> seems that way. I, you know, when when so first and ten. Note there to the legendary Dusty Rhodes. First and ten. To give goes to Lowry. Maximum. And Maximum great uh, patient running there. He'll gain about four on the carry. Brought down by number 14, number 38. Brought down Typical by Typical hard people. running. Yes. Typical hard running right inside. So it'll be a second and seven for the Titans. The 522 to go here in the third quarter. And uh, Lakeshore, you know, taking their time to get it going. The clock is their friend as uh, Westcott lets it get below 10 on the play clock. Calling for it. Fakes to give to uh, Lowry, and he'll take off himself, and uh, that'll be no gain Westcott on the play. I guess the only the question round. now is Maybe when will Westcott and Lowry come out of the game? Yes. Um, when will they let uh, Josh Ray and Kempton Hollingshead have a Start little, getting some reps. Yeah. There's always that balance about keeping because you got to want to play a whole game because you coming up semifinals and finals are going to be whole you know whole games. So yes. You want to make that maintain that game shape, but at the same time you don't want to 
put them in a situation they're going to be a, they're going to be an injury. That ball came loose oh, and they, Lakeshore was able to get, get it back, back. and that's a first down back. as that one uh, Westcott kept it and ran forward. The ball came loose and as it was jarred loose and rolling around Maximus Lowry was able to grab a hold of it, get the extra yards for the Titans. So another first down for them, and that's, we talk about 110% effort every that, play from that's, Lowry. That's pretty much the, uh, how the game's been going. You know, even if they make a mistake, they're able to recover yes. from it, you know? Yeah. I mean, they're not making very many mistakes. Oops, that was careful. I'm glad he decided to sit down and not try to do anything really crazy right there so a two-yard gain makes it second and eight for the titans to the left it'll be uh jordan foster and smeraldo all the way out to the right off screen it's cullen ziggler westcott calls for it fakes to give to lowry keeps it himself up the middle and he'll be brought down after about a three-yard gain. Westcott brought down by number 30. Brought down by uh, Asuncia Williams. Asuncia Williams. Smith. Smith. Third and five. Excuse me. <laughs> so third down for the Titans. Two to the right, two to the left. No one's covering that slot receiver. To Motion the left. from Foster yeah. Give up the middle to Lowry. Well, then they don't have to Max worry about throwing Lowry. it because they're running it so well. The and Lowry Lowry's gets the, the Titans round. another first, first down, down as they continue to march down the field. You talk about driving here. They've eaten up a good bit of clock uh, with this drive. Bastrop has not had an answer on how to stop the run nor the pass this evening by Lakeshore. First and 10 for the Titans, calling for it. And here's the give to Ray. Ray will gain about a yard before being brought down. Josh Ray, on the, Ray the sophomore running back, came into this one uh, with 33 carries, 199 yards, and two touchdowns. Just a youngster. But a youngster getting uh, playing time in the third round of the playoffs. Not quality reps. Quality reps, you're right. Westcott calling for it, fakes the give, going to his right, right. floats this one up, looking for Ziggler! And that is a touchdown. My goodness. Once again, Put it where only Ziegler could get it. And Ziegler got his foot down and add on to the points for Lakeshore. Swinging gate out there. Here's the shift and Gettys will attempt the extra point from the hold of Willie. Snap is back, place kick is up, and it is good. So a minute seven to go here in the third quarter. Lakeshore leads 51-0. Gettys to kick this one away for the Titans as they lead by 51 with a minute seven to go here in the third quarter. Gettys booting this one away. It'll be returned by Hyde. Hyde fields it from the 16, running upfield, has a seam, and ooh, he'll be brought down at about the 44-yard line by Brendan Perry. Perry, 5'9", 155 pounds, senior, a four-year starter for the Lakeshore Titans. The Pancake Destin in Panama City, an innovative boxing and fitness academy. So, Tiger... Down a uh, 51-0 here in the third. What's Bastrop 
talking about over on that sideline as far as uh, moving forward with this game? At this point, they're pretty much uh, disappointed. Um, you know, they're, they're wanting their guys to go back out there and try to find a way to score. I don't see that happening. Uh, Westcott and some of the other defenders are still in there. Um, so I don't see that happening. So it's hard to really, uh, it's a major, right now it's a major morale problem. You're, they just, you're not happy. You're, you're not happy. You're, you're getting beat 50 to nothing in the quarterfinal rounds. And you probably feel like you're a better team than that, but you haven't, you haven't proven it. And a, a flag, a late flag coming out uh, would likely be a block in the back called on uh, Bastrop. A uh, holding call, I think. Uh, and here's part of the morale. Now there's frustration too. Um, the part of the morale, you're disappointed. You didn't do. You haven't done as well as you hoped you'd do hold, uh, hold and hold then everything you do has made a big snowball it's turned a little chilly tonight if snow were to come down you could make snowballs okay I'm or with the, with the, that i stretched that maybe, whole thing maybe, here in louisiana maybe one of those snowball machines you make the they snowball might get with. they might get yeah. snow in north louisiana uh, yes <laughs> but not but no here we get snow at just chilling yes just chilling, you're right. We're Sam's. Yeah. Thompson in motion. Give goes to a Williams. Up. Oh, Mill Williams still on his feet, and Ziegler will push him out of bounds. That looks to be a first down for the Rams. Yep. And that moves the chains and gives the Rams a fresh set of downs. Big run there. So can't can't be anything wrong with that. First down run for the, uh, for the Rams. So, Scott and company setting up at the 42 yard line. Give goes to Thompson. Oh. Thompson buried by Zach Bernard. And that down, will end the, the third quarter. Well, a flag coming out. Hold on. Let's don't uh, pitch to the end of the third quarter yet. A very late flag came out. Potential. Uh, let's see. Well, while we're waiting for the call, end of the third quarter, Lakeshore leads 51-0. Second down after the uh, penalty enforced on the Rams. Calling for to Scott. Scott, pressure coming, and he'll be dropped by guess who? Zach Bernard and Christian Westcott. And why not? Why not? I mean, that's how it's been all night, just about. Mr. And Scott is going to need uh, a couple of days off for some R&R uh, &R when he gets back to school. So that makes it third and forever for Bastrop. Third a and a common, 28. A common theme this evening. Yes. On third and 28, Scott with uh, Michael Winfield to his left, calling forward to Scott, looking to pass, slings it out, and nearly picked off by Cullen Ziegler. Again. Again. Ziegler and Ziegler on the defense. So that'll make it fourth down the law and 28 for Bastrop as the punt unit comes on. But yeah, the, the future is bright. Um, defensive back for Lakeshore. They have Colby Ziegler doing a phenomenal job. The younger brother of Cullen Ziegler, only a freshman. Wow. Yeah, 
Got to put those athletes on the field. They find a way to get there. Snap is back, and it is ooh, a very low punt. And it'll be down at the 49-yard uh, line, and a late flags come out. I believe they'll say, a, a, well, this will be on Bastrop. Well, let's see what the call is. Personal foul. Now, so personal foul, and that'll give Lakeshore better field position to start this drive. Personal foul looks like on Which, That'll be a pretty 15 yards. I mean, they can drive on you and score if you spot them at the one, so giving them a short field is not no. ideal. No. First and 10 for the Titans from the 37 yard line. And the Titans will take over first and 10. Westcott still in at quarterback for the Titans. Westcott calls for it. Give goes to Ray up the middle. Ray has a seam, and that's a first down as he's brought down by Smith. Good hard running, and we talk about that offensive line of, uh, of Lakeshore. They've been stellar all night. They keep uh, opening big holes. Now uh, it looks like B.J. Foster subbing in to play running back. Westcott calling for it. Fakes the give. Westcott Toss out to Smeraldo. And Smeraldo looking to bring it upfield. And he's down at the 20-yard line, so about a three-yard gain on the screen. Looked like it was going to be go for nothing, but a good good juke by him. Right, right left juke, and, and he got three yards out of nothing. And good blocking out there by Rhett Kimball. They're going to uh, trips to the right. This time they setting up slowly. Clock being their friend. Westcott calls for it. Give goes to Lowry up the middle and Lowry running hard. He'll be about a yard shy of the first down. Same as it's been all night, Brought just straight ahead. 9.23 to go here in the game. Lakeshore up 51 to zero. <laughs> Calling for it is Westcott, give goes to Lowry once again and He'll be shy. That'll make it fourth and one. All right, brought down by number 58 and number 15. And uh, for Markel Peoples. So fourth and one for the Titans. They change personnel. Westcott calls for it, give, goes to Lowry, and that will be a first down for Lakeshore as they keep first this drive going. No surprise there. Good up front blocking by the uh, offensive line. Hard running by Lowry. First and 10 at the 11 yard line for the Titans. Westcott and a chance to look at the defense as a new play comes in from the sideline. Play clock down to 12 seconds. Westcott calling for it. Give goes to Lowry. And uh, Lowry brought down by uh, Rubby and Williams. Brought down by Germany Powell and Rubion Williams for the Rams. 
7.22 to go here in the fourth quarter. Lakeshore up 51-0, looking to add to that total. So as the new play comes in from the sideline, Westcott setting up here on second down. Calls for it. R running left, left side, side, looking to follow the blocks of Lowry and dives. Is he in? No, they say he down at the one. A little short. That's the Titans first down. Today. But a first down. So first and goal from the one. Good job of stretching out by Christian Westcott. Westcott calling for it, cuts it up field, barreling forward, and he is in. For the score, his 35th rushing touchdown of the season. A lot. And outstanding effort, outstanding play. His uh, the old swinging gate out there and the shift. So Gettys will attempt the extra point. With, uh, yeah, I wouldn't imagine they're going to tr any tomfoolery up <laughs> as far as they are. As far as they are. Oh, bobble snap. Here's a fire call. Looking to pass is Willie. Looking to run, and the try mm. fails. So 6:02 remaining Those here in the game. Lakeshore yeah. leads 57 to zero. Gettys to kick this one away. Popped up. It'll bounce back and be returned by Bastrop over there on that far side. As he dances around, runs, and is slung oh. down. A ball came loose. I think he was down. And, yeah, they're going to say he was down. But uh, Franklin Hyde on the return. And Aiden <laughs> Weber comes up with the fumble. So it'll be... Bastrop ball. Oh, they'll call him down. It'll be Bastrop ball. First and ten, and I mean this has been a tremendous outing for the Titans here and cakewalk. Ba really, yeah, to yeah. be honest with you, um, Bastrop really has not. It never got started yes. offensively. Yes. They probably had a half a dozen good plays the whole evening. Credit the Titan defense with that, of course. Yes. Um, there the give goes to Thompson, and he'll be stopped after a uh, three-yard gain. Zach Bernard, who has been absolutely tremendous tonight. And if you want to play, it'll be second and eight. But uh, Lakeshore will... Move on to play the winner of Easton and Karen Crow. Both are very talented teams. No, Warren Easton, no stranger to the semifinals. No, not at all. In the playoffs. Not lately. They have been lately a regular participant, and there's a bad snap. And that's how we started the game. Yes. Scott able to fall on that one. Pelican Point Car Wash. Lopa, life and that'll make it second and 15. Allstate, Chris Campbell. Check that, River 17. Of Louisiana and the Honey Dippers. The 445 to go here in the game. Scott calling for it, looking to pass. And he'll take off and be brought down as he was swarmed by a bunch of Titan players, including Obi Williams, the 5'11 sophomore, 
a little coverage sack there. Everybody, all the receivers covered. And uh, all Scott could do was run, and he couldn't go very far. And now uh, fresh jerseys out on the field on the Lakeshore defense. I believe a completely new squad with the exception of Colby and Cullen Ziegler. Ty Gegenheimer back to receive the punt for the Titans. Um, for and Bastra calls timeout. So with 3.43 to go here in the game, Lakeshore leads 57 to zero. So fourth down coming out of the timeout. Snap is back and punted away by the Rams. This one takes a bounce. The Rams will let it go. And they will down it at the 29 yard All line. Down at the 29 yard line where the so we'll see uh, Lakeshore's offense coming out led by Kempton Hollingshead. Kempton Hollingshead leads the Lakeshore Titans out to the field. So now the fresh jerseys coming out for the offense for Lakeshore. Quality reps under the uh, under the lights here every in the third second, round of the playoffs. Every second teamer's dream right now. Absolutely. Get, back out, get out on the field. Hollings had a uh, 5'10 sophomore quarterback. Also gets a lot of reps on the uh, special teams units for uh, the Titans and good hard running here from Jaden McClain, the 5'10 sophomore. Good run there and that'll be, let's see. Rodarius Morris and number 27, Barrett Morgan. A first down for the Titans. Good run there by the sophomore running back. Yeah, good run, just uh, <laughs> straight ahead. Was initially hit, but, but uh, kept going. Took a lick and kept on ticking. Ooh, Hollingshead nearly getting him with the uh, hard count. Nearly catching uh, Johnson jumping. Hollingshead calls for it. The give goes to McLean. I said McLean hard running there. That'll be another first down. So Jaden McLean averaging 10 yards a carry in this game. Uh, he'll be talking about this the rest of his life. His quarterfinal game, I averaged 10 yards as a carry. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it'll be in the record books as such. Yes. The first and 10 from the 50. Hollings head calling for it. Give once again to McLean. Bringing it up field, and that will hurt the 10 yards per carry average. But still hard running a fourth, uh, four yard gain there. For It'll the still be good, high yard, high yardage numbers. It's eight, eight yards. Couple scores out there. Westgate Neville, Neville 26, Westgate 24. Warren Easton, 34. Twenty-two. So it's looking like, as we hear scores coming in, that uh, Lakeshore will play Warren Easton in the semifinals. With the handoff. And handoff goes to McLean, and there we go. He'll be knocked out of bounds at the 30-yard line, and that adds to the average. But, uh, hard running, hard, hard running by the sophomore running back. That might be it. And that is 24 uh, seconds. 24 seconds remaining. So they'll line up and start doing the uh, good game handshake as Lakeshore will advance to the semifinals to take on Warren Easton here at Lakeshore. So let's send our thank yous to those who helped bring you this game, starting with our superintendent, Mr. Trey Fols, director of broadcasting, Dr. Melody Menard, sideline camera, Rhett Sharp, cameraman, editor, and coordinator of Channel 13, Dave the Rave Williams, color analyst, Coach Tiger Edwards. So, 
from Lakeshore High School where the Lakeshore Titans defeat the Bastrop Rams to move on to the semifinals of the 4A playoffs. They win 57-0. My name is Grant Annie. Good night. You are now leaving the prep zone.